Hi there, students. To clam up. Okay, this is an intransitive phrasal verb, or an idiom if you like. It doesn't normally take an object. So, to clam up, to stop talking, to stop giving information. We use to clam up particularly with information. Okay, a clam is a shellfish, a shellfish that opens. It has a little shell and it opens, and it's a very tasty thing to eat, a clam is. Okay, but they can, they can be quite difficult to open if you don't boil them. So to clam up, to shut tight, but this means to stop giving information, to refuse to talk, to refuse to give information about something. Um, Bob was in the bar buying everyone drinks and, and uh, telling jokes. But when I asked him where he got the money from, he clammed up. He stopped talking. He refused to give me any information about it. Okay, to clam up, to become silent, yeah? To shut up, yeah? To hush, if you like, okay? Okay, to say nothing about something. So the politician was in court and the uh, lawyer asked him some very penetrating questions, at which point the uh, politician clammed up and answered completely different questions. Okay? So not to give information, to close your mouth like a clam closes. Yeah? To clam up, to become silent. Maybe because you're embarrassed or nervous or you don't want to talk about a particular subject. Um, yeah, so if there's something that we don't want to talk about, we normally clam up. We become quiet or we don't talk about it or we change the subject. Okay? So to clam up, to be quiet. And remember, we don't normally use an object with this. Um, he clammed up over or about the subject, but I would say it's more, more normal. He just clammed up. I wouldn't really normally use over or about to give a direct object, okay? So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, make a comment, don't clam up, and subscribe to my channel. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.